Hey guys, Christian here from SolidTech Solutions with a short demonstration video on how to add a manufacturer's part to the manufacturer's library inside SolidWorks Electrical. In last week's post, I've already showed you how to create your own custom symbols and how to import them if you've already got a DWG file from that. And this week we'll actually um, create a or add a manufacturer's part to our library and then we can associate that with that symbol. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look in SolidWorks Electrical. I've already added or looked for a part. I've got the data sheet over here. Um, so we've got a nice three phase uh, contactor. And um, just um, one side note, this part is already inside SolidWorks Electrical, um, but I just found a nice PDF of it. So I will add it again on the, my own user library. Of course, you can add your own parts um, as well. So you can do this for any part. The workflow is going to be exactly the same. So let's go ahead and first look inside SolidWorks Electrical. Again, I'm going to the library tab at the top. And before I go into the manufacturer parts manager, I first want to show you something here in the libraries manager. So over here in the libraries manager, we can see all the available libraries that um, SolidWorks Electrical already has pre-installed. As you can see at the bottom, there is a user library as well. And what I've done is I've just added my name in the back. So you can just add here um, your name. The reason why I've done that is so I know that I'm being customizing this library. We can also create a new library and you can add your own company um, manufacturers parts in there if you want to. Now you can also see SolidWorks Electrical comes predefined with a lot of other libraries. Um, so I won't really mess around in any of those. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the manufacturer parts manager over here. Now, if I select that, we will just come up with the standard manufacturers part manager as if we would um, say manager as if we work inside SolidWorks Electrical and want to map a manufacturer's part to a symbol that we've placed on a schematic. Now we have two ways of looking for uh, manufacturer parts. We can look for per classification. So I know I'm going to have a contactor here. I want to add a contactor. I can simply go to that classification. I know it's a power contactor, so I can just simply click on power. And if I select this automatic refresh button over here, it will show me all the parts that are underneath that classification. So as you can see, SolidWorks Electrical Predefined has already or has already 16,429 parts predefined. I can also go to filters, and if I go to filters, it will automatically check this box in the class because I've pre-selected that underneath the classification. So once I'm in the class, I can now simply um, go and look for Snyder Electric. And I also know that my number of circuits are going to be six. Why are they six? Because we've got three um, faces. We've got a normally open contact, a normally closed contact, and of course the um, the A1 and A2 contact. So those make that makes a total of six. Now we can then just simply type in the reference and we will find the part that um, I'm now going to create manually. Again, you can do this with, do this with any part, so um, it makes sense to take a new part and add that to the library. Okay, now how do we create a new part? Um, we can just simply go up here and select add part. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, because I'm now already in Snyder Electric and in contact to release, um, it automatically already filled that in for us. All right, firstly, I'm just gonna make my screen a bit smaller here so I can actually see the PDF that I've got the data sheet. Now we've got the two screens next to each other um, and I can now simply just fill in the information from, um, from my PDF data sheet. So my part in this case is going to be a LC1D12ED. So that's the part number. Manufacturer I can simply select. So that's going to be the Snyder Electric. Now notices that this part number is already there. Okay, so it already wants you, if it finds the part in the library, it can use the properties. I'm just going to simply select no and just modify this to 
my initials in the back so that it doesn't recognize it anymore. Now class, very important. It's important that you select the class and the library um, just to make 100% sure that finding your part is going to be easy. So it's underneath contactors and relays and it's going to be a power. I'm just going to select that. Now root mark. Um, this is um, the mark that we want to use as soon as we place a component. Um, I'm going to select a KM because it's a contactor. I don't really have an article number, but if you have an article number to order this um, from your manufacturer, you can fill that in over here. My library is going to be the user Christian. So that's the objects created by me. So I'm going to put that in my own library. Again, that's the reason why I showed you the library manager beforehand. We can add multiple libraries for us. The other libraries are not visible because they're not part libraries. They're libraries for symbols, for cables, and other things. Now it's going to be a base part and for my description, I'm going to be lazy here. Just going to copy and paste this. And it's a 12 amp relay. Again, you've got another reference here. Um, now what's the usage voltage? It's 440 volt. I assume that it's 50, 60 hertz. My operating voltage is 48 volts and it doesn't have a frequency because it's direct current. Now, we will get back to this illustration um, here in a bit. And my next week's videos will be about that. So what you can see is every manufacturer's part has a line diagram symbol, a schematic symbol, a 3D part, a 2D footprint and a connection label. Now we've already created our schematic symbol. That's what I showed you in last week's video. So I'm not going to do that. But in my next week's videos, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D part and 2D part and then associate that to this manufacturer's part. By default, SolidWorks Electrical automatically sees um, assigns 3D parts um, and it does that by looking at the class. So if, I, if the class is going to be relay and there is no custom part assigned to this over here, it will use a generic um, 3D part for a relay, which can be correct or not. So it's up to you to check that out once you edit your part, but that will be um, discussed in next week's videos. Um, just going to add some dimensions here if I can find that. Let me just have a quick look over here. There we go. So that's going to be 77, 45 and 95. Now you can add your current rating as well, which was 12 amps. And you can just fill in any information you want over here. However, the important bit comes down here where we're going to add circuits. Um, so as we've said before, I'm just going to go up here again, zoom a bit in. We can see that we've got one, two, three, four, five, six circuits. So I need to add six circuits over here. Now circuit number one is going to be my um, control circuit. So that's going to be the relay coil. And we number them A1, A2, according to the standard. My second circuit will be a, let's have a look if it's in there, there we go, normally open power contact, so TK, and that will go, we'll name that one slash one, two, T1. We do the same thing for the other ones, so normally open. Three, L2, four, T2, five, L3, and six, T3. Now again, this is according to the standard, so you can fill in any terminal numbers you want. Um, but I'm just using them here, as you can see from, might be a bit hard to see because it's small, but you can see the numbers are already uh, annotated on the actual 3D part in my PDF. Now we've got a normally open contact here, which is going to be 13 and 14. 
and um, the last one is going to be a normally closed contact which is going to be 21 22 and we're pretty much done over here I can now simply click on OK and make this a bit bigger now if I want to filter on my part I simply go to my library over here and search and you can see here there's only one part in this library it's the one that we've created now next week video I'm going to show you how to create a 3d 3d part and associate that to this part that we've now created in our custom library thanks for watching guys